clever is your middle name? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 signs you're a Ravenclaw. In the dungeon! <laughs> Turn around in the dungeon! For this list, we'll be going over some of the indicators that you may belong in the Ravenclaw house at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry from the Harry Potter franchise. Well, have you ever fixed a nose before? No, but I've done several toes, and how different are they really? Number 10. You have a fascination with the past. Ravenclaws are all about intelligence, both having it and seeking it. One of the primary ways people gain knowledge is by looking to the past. After all, without the accumulated work of those who came before us, how can we move forward? Looking to the past also helps us see how our present-day society came to be. Plus, history's just really cool. It's a whole unexplored frontier full of events shadowed in mystery that we may never solve, but it's still fun to try. Trust us, it's way more interesting than Professor Binns made it sound. There's not a person alive who's seen us. It's obvious, isn't it? We have to talk to someone who's dead. Number 9. Your note-taking skills are the stuff of legend. Being smart doesn't automatically mean that you're able to retain everything you hear. Only a very select few have that skill or gift. For the rest of us, it often means having to take notes. If you are especially good at taking down information, you might be Ravenclaw. You've got well-organized info with annotations. You have your own shorthand that lets you take down more facts quickly. You've got tabs in your notebooks based on subject. If any of this sounds familiar, you should probably be wearing blue at Hogwarts. Number 8. People think you're stuck up or pretentious. Being smart or clever can lead to negative consequences too. Revealing one's intelligence can lead others to consider you stuck up, prim, or pretentious. Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary moment this is. When young Harry stepped into Flourish and Blots this morning to purchase my autobiography, Magical Me. After all, being intelligent is something you can just turn off, right? Clearly, anyone who tries to contribute using their brain must be showing off. Yeah, okay. Whether those labels are accurate or not depends on the person, but the perception of it, real or perceived, may mean you belong in Ravenclaw. But I don't talk about that. I didn't get rid of the band and banshee by smiling at them. <laughs> this kind of prejudice can be quite isolating as well, and it's one of the many reasons why Ravenclaws tend to be loners or introverts too. Sure, you don't want to test it first. No! Ah! Number seven, you accept people for who they are. Something that goes hand in hand with intelligence is the ability to be open to points of view and experiences other than your own. That's still my possessions. Apparently, people have been hiding them. That's awful. Oh, it's all good fun. Empathy is a mark of intelligence, and while the stereotype of Ravenclaws is that they're more analytically minded, some members of the house think with their hearts, too. Sometimes one of the smartest things you can do is realize that you can't change people and that it's okay for all of us to be different. After all, if we were all alike, that wouldn't be interesting at all. Now would it, purebloods? Whenever you're ready, sir. Sir, I like her very much. Number six, you love the process of learning. While Gryffindor and Slytherin tend to be very goal-oriented houses, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw are less about the destination and more about the journey. Having knowledge is great and all, but how you acquire it is also important. If you're a Ravenclaw, you may relish your time spent studying or taking notes or look forward to any opportunity to learn something new. It's a tree you can produce for Patronus Chime. Yes. Seen it. And sure, learning can be hard work sometimes, but the best things in life rarely come without a little effort on our parts. Even magic takes practice after all. A little higher. <laughs> Number five, you take on too much of what you like, that is. We've already established that Ravenclaws can be enthusiastic. However, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Ravenclaws are determined and frequently pursue their interests with enthusiasm. But this can also lead to being spread too thin, since if many things make you passionate, not all of them will get the attention they need. 
Maybe your web browser has a dozen tabs open as you watch this. Maybe your to-do list has a table of contents. Maybe you have several ongoing passion projects that you need to get to but can't because each one is demanding your undivided attention. Sound familiar? Your Patronus can only protect you for as long as you stay focused. So focus, Luna. Number four, you're perceptive. One thing about being clever is that your brain makes connections that others don't see. Whether it's making connections from available evidence or using your intuition to arrive at conclusions faster, perceptiveness is another hallmark of Ravenclaw House. You look dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put something in his cup? Studying and notes are all well and good, but the truly insightful are able to put the information together or clues they take in more quickly and find meaning or intent where others don't. Ravenclaws would probably do well in fields that involve investigation, such as the Auror Department or detective work if you're a muggle. Or, you know, an Easter egg hunt. It's a curious thing to keep in your sock. Number three, your brain never shuts off. Some Ravenclaws aren't just smart, they're always thinking. He's lovely. They've been known to sing on Boxing Day, you know? While this can lead to greater intelligence, making more mental connections, and possibly better grades, it also means that they have trouble turning down the volume of their thoughts. Maybe you have trouble sleeping because you can't stop thinking even when you lie down to rest. Or maybe you feel overwhelmed by a barrage of errant thoughts throughout the day, as what-if scenarios play out for every little choice you face. You might have anxiety, but you might also be at home in Ravenclaw. Number two, you love reading and books. A love of learning can certainly lead to loving one of humankind's most enduring tools to cultivate the mind, books. The truth lies buried like a sentence deep within a book waiting to be read. But first, you must broaden your minds. Conversely, perhaps it's that people who like books become more intelligent. Or maybe it's both. Whatever the case may be, Ravenclaws tend to love books and or appreciate the written word more than the members of their fellow houses. In fact, it's a good bet that most of those who belong to or should be in Ravenclaw have spent a considerable amount of galleons, or those bits of paper muggles use, on books or office supplies. Alright, so if we're talking fictional Ravenclaws, then I'm totally saying Belle, Matilda, maybe Indiana Jones, Rory Gilmore, and totally Amy Santiago. Are you a Ravenclaw? Maybe these honorable mentions will help you decide. But number one is making me feel straight attacked. Took ages to riddle it out. Almost all the bubbles were gone. continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, you're nerdy for something and aren't afraid to show it. By now, it should come as no surprise that Ravenclaw has a reputation for being the nerdiest Hogwarts house. Anita. Harry. But being a nerd is great! If you're a total geek about a particular subject, whether it's history, books, or Quidditch statistics, it just means that you're enthusiastic in your pursuit of what you're interested in. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure may be the motto of Ravenclaw, but that does not mean that treasuring other things is discouraged. Knowing what you love and sharing it with others is sure to enrich the minds of everyone. So you do you, fellow nerds! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.